Hey, what's up, y'all? Thank you so much for um joining in on this beautiful day. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I decided to um tell you something that happened to me a long time ago. And just because it's almost Halloween, I'm like, why not, right? So I'm recording this live, not obviously live on YouTube, but I'm recording live right now. <laughs> So, and then I'm going to publish it. Anyway, so get started. Now, I don't know if y'all are going to believe in paranormal activity things. I don't know if you guys believe it. I'm not telling you to believe it. I'm just telling you what I witnessed, what I experienced in the past. And also, it's not actually about paranormal things. It's going to be about aliens. <laughs> I know, it sounds even worse right a lot of people laugh at me and they're like oh you're crazy i'm like you probably saw a dorito up in the sky i'm like oh dorito i'll get to that later oh my god okay so this was a few years ago i don't remember anymore this was when i had my chihuahua which was like what how many years ago possibly five years ago five to six years ago it was five or six years ago and i was going to bed well, I was sleeping already. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I was sleeping and then all of a sudden like I felt so cold. My whole body was cold. I was freezing. I was like, what the fuck? I got up. I woke up from the coldness. My dog was sleeping with, with me at the time. I was sleeping with my mom in her room. And she has a window on her right side. The door is always closed. Uh, I always sleep on the right side. She sleeps on the left. My dog sleeps around my lap. We were all sleeping. And then, next thing you know, I was freezing. I was like, Whoa, why is it so cold? I woke up to notice that my mom wasn't there. My dog wasn't there. I felt like the whole world was empty. The whole room was empty. Everything was empty. There's nobody there. I felt alone in the whole entire world. That's what I was feeling. I was like, I wasn't in a panicky state for some odd reason. I think every, anyone would be, like, a little scared or thinking, like, hey, where the hell did my mom go? Hmm. Did she go to a club without me or something? No. That's just not right. She's She had to work the next day, and then it was, like, what, 12 or 1 a.m. I was so cold. I woke up in my dream, okay? I didn't wake up in real life. I woke up in a dream. And what's really scary about that is I couldn't even tell reality, okay? And you guys want to get to the good parts. Okay, so I was sleeping. And then next thing you know, um, I woke up and I looked to my left, looked to my right. Okay, there's nothing. It was like a bluish color out my window. Like it was shining through the whole room, but not brightly. I could just see shining through my my room and it was like a bluish color and it was like little outlines of the light shining through my window and then when I looked to my left when my mom wasn't there the bed was neatly done guys okay and I was like in the, under the covers but like I stood up and the I looked on my left and my mom wasn't there the door was open but there was nobody there everything was all bluish like a dark dark bluish no not dark it was like an aqua light bluish color i looked to the left the bed was really nicely neatly done then once i turned to the right again i saw three freaking aliens now i, sh I don't i get paranoid okay i don't think i should be talking about this i don't think people should know what happened to me because i feel like it's gonna come back i fear for my life right now i i'm scared that it's that I feel like it's gonna happen again, and I, I'm just hoping it won't. I really hope not. Anyways, so then there was three aliens with like a brownish or blackish robe, and I couldn't see their faces though. They were wearing robes, and I think they had a rope, a robe on, but a, like a rope, a brown rope around their waist. I'm not sure if they did or not, but. They were all staring at me. Like, they were facing me. Three of them. Left, middle, and right. The middle one was the tallest one. The one on the left was speaking to me telepathically, as I believe it was. And it was really weird. I, it wasn't an English language, but somehow I could communicate with him telepathically, okay? I, I, I don't know what language it was. I just understood what the hell he was saying. And the guy on the left 
well, whatever it was, the thing on the left said, um, the one in the middle is Allah or something. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Shit. Okay. I don't know if he said Allah or he did say Allah, but I don't know how he said it like in in order. Like I don't know if he said he's a god or he's he's Allah first. So the one on the left was telling me that, um, do you see this guy in the middle? And I'm like, Yeah, I do. He's like he's Allah. Yeah, I remember. Okay, yeah, I remember. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I said okay, he said he his name is Allah. Or he's, or it, he's Allah, or his name is Allah. And I said, okay, who is Allah, or who's Allah? Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. This was a long time ago, okay? If I knew who Allah was, or if I knew anything about Allah, or whatever, I would not say that. Anyway, so I was like, who's Allah? And he's like, the guy in the middle. I'm like, okay, who, who's Allah? He's like, he's, he's God. I'm like, God, oh my god. And the strange thing was, I wasn't looking at them directly. I was looking down because I was actually in a in a scared. I wasn't scared, but somehow was scared to look. So I was still looking at their robes, and I and he's like, "Okay, the guy in the middle is Allah. Okay, cool." So what I did was I looked at the guy in the middle, but like still looking below the waist. I slowly looked up and tried to look in his eyes, and all I s remember seeing was a really terrifying face it was not cute it was not holy i don't know how this was god i'm assuming it was an hideous wrinkly alien and he had yellow eyes that's all i remember was his yellow eyes and his ugly face i looked up and i'm like holy shit once i looked at his yellow eyes they all vanished they all disappeared in black smoke like a mist they're like Pfft. Ow, it just cracked my knuckles. I don't know if you heard that. Anyways, <laughs> so they all disappeared in a black mist. You know, and I jumped. As I jumped from that, when I once I saw that, I got scared. My dog was growling. Okay, I I snapped out of my dream. My whole body instantly got warm again. It wasn't cold anymore. I, my mom was there. My dog was growling. Looking at the window where those aliens were, okay? He was growling at them. Like, he was growling and barking silently. I was like, holy shit! I know this wasn't fake or a dream. My dog's reacting to this thing. And then my mom gets up and is like, shut up, dog! And starts spanking him on the boot. I'm like, no! I was like, no, mom, no! The dog is innocent! <laughs> I didn't really say that, but I did tell her to stop. I'm like, mom, no, he actually woke me up from a terrifying dream. Like... I really think aliens visited me. And she's like, Melly, I want to go to bed. We'll talk about this tomorrow. And I'm like, I'm scared. I was like, Mom, can you pray for me? And she's like, Melly, I'm tired. You pray for yourself. Just call out Jesus. I'm like, he was Jesus. <laughs> I'm not saying he was Jesus. I, I'm just going to say, uh, well, technically he was a god, I guess. I don't know who it was. But yeah, that's my story. And oh, yeah, about the Dorito. I guess I could tell another story. All right, here we go. 2004 no 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 there's no way it was 2014 that's when i graduated okay so it was i think it, i believe it was 2010 2010 or 2009 it was 10 p.m i was looking at the sky in golden gate estates where i live like there's a big wooden area there's like it's so dark you could see the stars you could see the galaxy from that's how dark it was not really the galaxy, but the like the galaxy white line across the sky. That's what I could see. That's how dark it was. Anyways, I was looking at the stars in my patio, wooden patio, laying down, looking at the stars around ten forty one p.m. Yes, I know specifically because I remember this. I remember looking at the time. I always everything that happens paranormal or something. I try my hardest to remember the time, the date, what it was, where was it, or what how what year it was. Yeah. Anyways, so it was around ten p.m. Whatever. I looked up in the sky. All of a sudden, I saw a, a triangle, dude, a spaceship triangle with no sound whatsoever, slowly going towards down where I was. I was like, holy shit. I didn't want to scream because I thought I was going to get abducted. And this was before the uh, aliens came and visit me t telling me that it was a lie. Anyways, so yeah, I saw this triangle and it had three in each corner. The, every, the triangle corners, the three, 
one, two, three, had a uh, red dim light. It was really dim. It wasn't bright or whatever. It's just a little red dim light in each, uh, each of the corners of the in the triangle. And then I also saw in the center of it. It was darker than ever. It was like the blackest of black. <laughs> so the pr pretend the spaceship was like a triangle and red lights or whatever. And don't worry, I'll show you a picture of what I drew on paint on my computer to demonstrate how it looks like. And here it is. Okay, yeah, you can see it, whatever. Anyway, so after that, I was like, holy shit. And it was, there was, keep in mind, the lights were not flashing. It was just red lights. It was a triangle spaceship, UFO. Keep that in mind. There was no engine sound. There was no shh or t -t 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 -t. there was nothing. Freaking silence to the point where you could hear the stars twinkling. To the point you hear crickets having sex. That's how freaking silent it was. Okay? So after that, I was looking. I was like, holy shit, it's going to adopt me. I was trying my hardest not to panic. I was like slowly observing it. It was going lower and lower where I was, but not really. It was on the left side of me. But then it decided to take off higher and higher, and it just took off a little faster. And keep that in mind, again, it was going slowly, okay? It was moving slow. It went down slower and slower, and then it flew off a little faster. <sighs> Never seen it again. But I did look online. Supposedly it was a nuclear thing. Supposedly that's what it was. Something, a bomb, I guess. I don't know what it was. But supposedly that's what it was. And it could have been a military thing, but, you know. Uh, yeah, who knows? Could be the government hiding stuff from us. So. Let me know in the comment section below of what your scary alien encounters was. Thank you for watching, and if you like it, give me a thumbs up, and I will definitely give you more paranormal activity stuff. If not, I'll just do it anyways. <laughs> Bye!